how quick was the recovery process quicker than you you thought yeah. it'd be? Yeah, I mean, I think with ev with every recovery I've had, all the doctors are always wondering like, how the hell is this guy managing <laughs> to do all this stuff like so like quicker than what we expected? And and it's mad because at first they'll say, oh, it's going to take you two months another really? and then the next time you see them oh no it's probably going to be more like three months and you know this and that and then just look doing the physio doing the appropriate things and like my dad's very good with his strength and conditioning he's he's yeah. been like you know leveling me up bit by bit week by week strength by strength um to to again like the last strength and conditioning session we've had i've, I've performed at the best that i've that I've done and I've been able to do the certain movements that I wasn't able to do, you know, a couple of weeks ago. So again, everything's peaking at the right time. Everything's getting to the, to, to, to the tip of the iceberg, you know, as, as well as we can possibly do. Um, I mean, my, my recovery has been, it's been quite linear. I would say sometimes oh, it's that. been a bit more volatile, you know, yeah. this time it's been a bit more sort of a straight, straightforward approach maybe with one little hiccup at one point but that hiccup just made me a little bit more strong uh and the nose and and stuff like that like i'm just going to be an even better version do you know what i mean it's like it's like i've um it's like a car having a load of upgrades do you know what i mean adding that extra nitrous <laughs> do you know what i mean adding the paint job you know yeah. and all, all, the, all this kind of stuff so yeah. the body is very good at adapting to uh circumstances and environments people often underestimate themselves i think david goggins is a great example of one of those people who was able to adapt to his surroundings and just kind of not give a fuck like yeah. he just wh whatever the whatever the situation throws at him he's able to just push through it mentally he has some almost psychotic like do you know i mean vibe going on but that's yeah. what you need i was watching a, a video today about like Tiger Woods and John Jones and and um, you know these guys that are and like Michael Jordan and these guys are like you know they've got a proper like hardcore dark side that they that they use to their advantage in order to to get themselves to the peak and the pinnacle of their sport and um, uh. yeah I think this is uh, this is definitely the case here I've definitely got a bit of a crazy maniac mindset um, <laughs> even with re even with recovery trying to do sometimes more than. I should be doing, but I'm like, nah, well, I'm recovering. I'm, I'm getting there. Do you know what I mean? When people underestimate me and think I can't do something, that gives me even more fire and fuel to prove them wrong. And I believe that is part of my dark side is, yeah. the, um, is people always counting me out. People always, uh, you know, kind of looking at me in a bit of like, eh, he's all right, but he's, he's, he's not up there. Okay, cool. Well, get ready for the dark side to come out because uh, when that comes out, it's a very scary Modestus. And uh, like I oh, said, yeah. I'm looking forward to bring that out even more so uh, when the time comes for the fight.